by the power vested in me, I hereby constitute this assembly as a legal congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, degrees and diplomas with all the associated rights and privileges will be conferred and awarded on the candidates whose names appear on the program. Please take your seats. Ladies and gentlemen, we request you to join us in silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements of our students. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now it's my privilege and honor to welcome you all to this graduation. I extend a hearty word of welcome to all of you. I wish in particular to welcome the Dean of the Gordon Institute of Business Science, Professor Ann Klein, the Deputy Director, Department of Enrollment and Student Administration, Dr. E. Levenbeck, chairpersons of schools, heads of departments, directors and honorary professors, and other lecturers and their spouses, supervisors and co-supervisors, and external examiners of the doctorate students, the representative of the Student Representative Council will present the SSC academic honorary colors. All persons to whom degrees will be conferred and diplomas awarded this afternoon. Welcome also all the spouses, parents, and parties, and other parties, as well as dignitaries we may not have, we, we may not be aware of. You are all welcome, and we wish that uh, you have an enjoyable afternoon with us. Uh, as Chancellor of the University who comes to, to the University twice a year, this time in autumn and, and in, in, in September for the graduations, it's always a great pleasure to perform these duties. One of the official duties of the Chancellor of the University is officiating a graduation ceremony, and that is the most inspiring and uplifting role. Twice a year in autumn and spring, the University of Pretoria celebrates the success of our students at a series of graduation ceremonies. I expect that for many of our students graduating today, your primary ex experience of the University of Pretoria has been through our campus in Ilovo, Johannesburg, that is Gibbs. I also expect that this may be your first visit to the University of Pretoria's uh, Hartfield campus. Each year, I, enco I encounter uh, Gibbs graduates who reveal that they, they did not, they were not aware that Gibbs is part of the University of Pretoria. Gibbs is a very special and distinctive part of the University of Pretoria, which in addition to the business school has nine faculties. Hartfield is the largest of the university six campuses, and it is the home of the faculties of economic and management sciences, engineering, built environment and IT, humanities, law and theology. The Hartfield campus was where the MBA program in South Africa started after the Second World War. And it was the first MBA in South Africa and indeed in Africa. It has become a tradition that the university's business school, the Gordon Institute of Business Science, or Gibbs, opens our graduation season. For Gibbs, a total of 643 degrees, diplomas, and certificates are being conferred this year. 
in two ceremonies, the first of which took place this morning. At this afternoon's proceedings, 257 students will receive MBAs, and it is especially pleasing that three doctorate degrees are being conferred. By the time the last University of Pretoria student graduating during the 2018 autumn graduations is kept at a ceremony to be held on the 8th May, we will have had a total of 32 autumn graduation ceremonies during which we'll have conferred more than 11,423 degrees, diplomas and certificates, among them 202 doctorates and 1,389 master's degrees. I still maintain that Gibbs is undoubtedly a jewel of the university's crown, attesting to our success in producing sought-after graduates who can and do make a difference locally and globally. Gibbs was the only African business school featured in the prestigious Financial Times Executive MBA rankings for 2017. In 2017, Gibbs once again scooped top honors as Africa's preeminent business school in the annual Executive MBA ranking conducted by the UA Financial Times. 2017 marked the fifth consecutive year that Gibbs took Africa's top post. Gibbs is now the only African business school ranked by the FT in its MBA rankings. The ranking, which is considered glo a global uh, benchmark of business school excellence, is based on surveys of business schools and MBA graduates. Various assessment criteria are used, which include, among others, the career progression of the school's alumni, the school's success in generating ideas, and the diversity of students and faculty members. The school is ranked 23rd globally on international course experience, largely due to the compulsory global module, which forms an integral part of the Gibbs MBA program. Gibbs continued to close the gender gap when it comes to female representation on the MBA program. Of the faculty members who teach MBA courses, 38% are women. Moreover, female students make up 42% of the student cohort, and 50% of the Gibbs board are women, putting the school 11th, 7th, and 5th respectively in the world in these three categories. Moreover, Gibbs retained its dominance in the 2017 financial mail ranking the MBA's annual survey. The rankings place Gibbs first in three categories. First choice for graduates, most reputable MBA program among employers, and best overall reputation among employers. The rankings are run annually by the esteemed weekly business publications, that is South Africa, Financial Mail, which, focused, which focuses on reaching the country's top business minds. Information was collected from over 1,200 MBA graduates and executives from 300 private and public sector companies. 14 business schools whose MBA programs are accredited by the Council of Higher Education took part in the rankings and were required to provide comprehensive data about their MBA and associated activities. The latest recognition of Gibbs by the Financial Mail, along with its excellent standing in the Financial Times rankings for both executive education and executive MBA, reinforces the high stature of Gibbs within the broader business community. As a business school, Gibbs operates in a competitive space, 
to be featured in these esteemed rankings in both, is both an honor and a privilege, and it reflects on the hard work put into the qualification by both the students and faculty. Graduates, your presence here today is all the proof you need that you have met the highest standards of quality and excellence, which are the hallmark of a qualification from Gibbs and from the University of Pretoria. In this respect, I am pleased to inform you that today is the time to celebrate your success with those that supported you along your journey and bask in the pride of your accomplishments. We trust that during the time that you have spent at Gibbs, and despite the hard work and, co and commitment required to achieve success, you have accumulated happy memories, have formed friendships and networks that will last a lifetime, and have acquired values and work ethics that will serve you well in the future. With a qualification from the University of Pretoria, Gordon Institute of Business Science, we know that you are well positioned to realize your careers, whatever they may be. May I conclude by congratulating each and every one of you and requesting all in attendance, parents, friends, and everybody here to give you a big round of applause. I now request the Dean and Supervisors to introduce to me the candidates present whose names appear on the program. Mr. Chancellor, the Director of the Doctoral Programs, Professor Helena Barnard, will commence by introducing the doctoral candidates. I introduce to you the Jacqueline Antoinette Canelli, who has complied with the requirements for the degree of Doctor of Business Administration with a thesis titled The Components of Marketing Capability, a Framework and Process of Knowledge Integration for Development prepared under the supervision of Professor Nicola Klein with Professor uh, Louise Whitaker as co-supervisor. In her thesis, The Components of Marketing Capability, a framework and processes of knowledge integration for development. The Promovenda employed an innovative, multiple embedded case study design using multiple data sources to provide a rich and detailed understanding of marketing capability. This study contributes to theory by developing a framework of marketing capability and sub-capabilities, providing an enhanced understanding of the nature of marketing knowledge resources underpinning marketing capability, and outlining the mechanisms that integrate marketing knowledge resources in the development of marketing capability and sub-capabilities. At a practitioner level, the findings contribute to enhancing the effective marketing within organizations by providing a route to building stronger underlying marketing capabilities, which in turn will improve competitiveness. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Doctor of Business Administration, with all associated rights and privileges on Jacqueline Antoinette Canelli. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, I introduce to you Dana Boysen Strado who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Business Administration with a thesis entitled Ethical Leadership by Cross-Cultural Value, Value Orientations, prepared under the supervision of the late Professor John Fister. In his thesis, Ethical Leadership by Cross-Cultural Value Orientations, 
The Promovendas sought to understand the influence of cultural value orientation on the relationship between ethical leadership and employee behavior. Using matched multi-source sample data from managers and subordinates of the South African multinational organization operating in several African countries, ethical leadership was found to be positively related to both in and out of role performance. Ethical leadership was also found to be positively related to ethical climate, and this relationship was negatively moderated by a follower power distance orientation to the extent that this relationship was weaker for followers with high power distance orientation. Leadership research and theory will benefit from a greater emphasis on follower characteristics as differences in the cultural value orientations of employees affect the effectiveness of ethical leadership. Awareness of this difference also stands to benefit organizations, especially ones operating in different countries employing culturally diverse workforces. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Doctor of Business Administration, with all associated rights and privileges on Dana Poison Strato. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, I introduce to you Samantha Nicola Swanepoel, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis titled Consumer Race and Multiculturation. Do racially ambiguous models in advertising drive greater eff advertising effectiveness across all races within an organic market? Prepared under the supervision of Dr. Wim Boyser. Wim, where are you? Um, in her thesis, Consumer Race and Multiculturation do racially ambiguous models in advertising drive greater advertising effectiveness across all races within an organic multicultural market? The Promovenda employs a transformative consumer research lens to examine the challenges of targeting markets that are increasingly multicultural. Research on racial diversity in advertising continues to be dominated by studies characterizing multicultural markets as dominated by one and normally the white group. Uh, plus a variety of minority ethnicities. Through a quasi-experiment, a large sample allowed the development of a scale to measure multiculturation and the testing of three advertising conditions to develop a conceptual model for e effective advertising in multicultural markets to ensure consumer well-being. It was found that advertisements employing racially ambiguous model drive an emotional effect on the viewer, improving feelings of consumer well-being. The primary theoretical contribution of this study is an enhanced understanding of advertising effectiveness in multicultural marketplaces and the impact of, a different, model, of different model configurations in advertising on consumer well-being. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the de degree, Doctor of Philosophy, on Samantha Nicola Sonepul with all associated rights and privileges. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have complied with all the requirements for the degree Master of Business Administration. The degree is awarded with prizes for the best student in contemporary issues in entrepreneurship, technology entrepreneurship, for the best student in general management in dynamic markets, for the best student in innovation and design, Rule Abru. Martin Adamson. Mikhail Ansari. Adrian Ashley. Welcome. 
with an award for the top student in the Building Brands course, Pierre Aurel. Donna Bergman. The MBA with distinction and awards for the best student in dynamics of competitiveness, Shandon Bezodenhurt. Subash Bura. Renee Bonath. David Boyser. Go around. The MBA with distinction and prizes for the best student in strategic renewal, the best student in business analysis and research methodology, the best student in corporate strategy, and the best student in operationalizing strategy, Adrian Boerter. Well done. Liani Britt. Thanks. It's baby. Natasha Bridgman. Dirk. Fritz. Okay, I'll just have to look around. Thank you. Robert Brown. Alandwa Vumbi. Craig Carlson. With a prize for the best student in personal leadership development, Nancy Chakabuda. Tumang Cheda. Patricia Chibaya. Tandeka Chitsike. Kedibone Chwene. With an award for the best student in mergers and acquisitions, Hasim Coleman. Javi Kursa. Johannes Cronier. Cherise Darfel. Gabriel Danda. Carla De Silva Nell. Dumisani Liwayo. Nicholas Demont. For the best student in geopolitics and grand strategy, Rick Diesel. Olani Gladla.
Victoria Dotwana. Rebecca Dubru. Katrida Duplessis. Mfundo Zanibe. The MBA with distinction and awards for the best student in leadership and corporate accountability and the best student in strategic leadership decision-making courses, Petrus Engelbrecht. Okay. Ian Geldenhuis. Pindiwe Gida. Rishai Gosai. Kazri Govinda. Shandini Govinda. Trevoran Govinda. The degree with distinction, Laurie Grevler. Lorraine Guerrera. The degree with distinction, and an award for the best student in the environment of business, Charles Hare. <laughs> Nichelle Hariprasad. Christopher Healy. Jason Hunis. Lungelo Klongwa. Cameron Hogg. Roland Huggins. Jan Hendrik Buman. Cindy Inacio. Felicity Jenks. Bradley Jansa van Rensburg. Valentine Jingura. Rinesh Kumar Jivanji. Klesha Johnson. Justin Julius. Cholofelo Kamau. Mohammed Karim. Vinesh Kassan. Bokang Kelepa. You can wait. Now you will. Enoch Katze. Well 
Ashleen Kedun. Dumisani Koza. Sipamandla Kumalo. Richard Kuberg. The degree with distinction and prizes for innovating business at the base and uh, for the base student in entrepreneurship, Anshin Loebsha. With an award for the best student in sales and business development, Charles LaRue. Colin Lechou. With an award for the course in the best student in contextual leadership intelligence, Marley Lombard. The MBA with distinction, Daniela Lynch. Maraba Mabusela. Eddie Mabuza. Ian McLeod. Ntlantla Madide. Kevin Madlala. Fungai Linda Madondo. Sifiso Magwaza. Ntobeko Maklangu. Katlejo Makleka. Nadim Mohammed. Abram Makola. Thomas Makupo. Peter Malherbe. Mbali Malinga. Nurse Shikon Gomelo Maluleke. Vincent Mashaba. Michael Mashinine. Molemo Masuku. Lucretia Shadi Mate. And she got an award for the best student in competitiveness and economic development. Pokoane Matebula. Yusuf Meida. Reshma Matura. Tabo Matsepe. Lu 
Tando Maekiso. Nombulelo Mba. Humuzo Mbulaheni. Mpo Maknami. Precious Ndlalozi and an award for the best student in customer centric strategy. Lerato Melamu. Mechwe Mfolo. Kwezi Lomso Nguba. Ntando Yetu Mslungu. Adelaide Nlate. Bethwell Ngomizulu. Boitumelo Moche. Molokela Modiba. Carol Mofoking. For the best student in business connectedness in Southern Africa, Gwesimang Mohale. Patience Kahiso Mohale. Aurelia Molebeheng Mohashoa. Camilo Moni Rivero. Itumeleng Mohotsi. Motlajo Moholwa. Lerato Moja. Nicholas Mohozi. Riochile Monachen. Tepiso Monareng. Yaish Musa. Reboni More. Adiale Sheila Mozepe. With an award for the best student in sustainable business, Frank Marino. The MBA with distinction, Hugo Mouton. Abram Mpie. Sampiri Mudao Pepsiwe Mueli okay, you go around. Hello. Hello. I'm good, 
statement. Mbusom Zila. Priyan Naika. Thea Naidu. Pranashan Naidu. Dakshesh Naik. Nalin Nosh Naiken. Achlam Nasser. With an award for the best student in environment of business, Timothy Nast. Shoeb Nathi. With an award for the best student in entrepreneurship, Andre Nodir. Vilma Nodir. Cheryl Nomokanya Ndema. Leave it here. Good afternoon. Nkosinati Nzinisa. Stenjoa Mobo. Thaddeus Mobo. Tembekile Mobo. The MBA with distinction, Michael Nyland. Rinzani Nkanyani. Kor Norkia. With an award for the best student in moral leader, Zamani Nchiza. With an award for the best student in business valuations and deal structures, Timothy Nyaga. Sibongikosi Nyanga. Ayanda Oliphant. Ruth Papenfuss. Sushanta Parida. Kinola Partha, and with an award for the best student in the expert negotiator. Srinesan Partha. Selwyn Pearton. Kevin Purumal. Purumal, sorry. Ginta Pfeiffer.
the MBA with distinction and an award for the best student in financial modeling, Francis Phillips. Rhino Peters. With an award for the best student in the course leading through storytelling, Candice Pillay. Neo Rakao. Matome Ramapakela. Carabo Ramela. The MBA with distinction and an award for the best student in strategy execution, Machozo Rampele. With two awards for the best student in business opportunities and innovations in Africa and the best student in the course competitiveness and economic development, Ndibuho Ramukumba. Tarun Rao. Mosenkana Rapolo. Owen Rawlins. Okay. I keep it. Camlin Reddy. With an award for the best student in persuasion, the art and science of influence, Zane Rinka. Gregory Root. Pragyanjit Rout. Tungiriro Rukanda. Tichawana Runganga. All the best ones see orange on these cards. With the MBA with distinction and awards for the best student in scenario planning, the best student in strategy and private equity and the best student in strategic finance and value creation. I can see where you're going. Keshav Sahadev. Vishan Sankar. Javed Sarvan. Tumelo Sedirwa. Suhail Sidat. Lebohang Sehwati. Kuseli Setuse Renee Shields Spongile Shoba Disrael Sibanda Gugu Similane. The 
the MBA with distinction, Neil Sinclair. Ashika Singh. Ivana Singh. Shreshni Singh. Virosha Singh. Silindo Kuchle Sitole. Nolita Skosana. Kenan Smith. With an award for the best student in the course Understanding Dynamic Markets, Sean Smith. Tony Snyders. Anele Somaguda. Nikita Suka. With an award for the best student in the course Contemporary Issues in Entrepreneurship, Tech Entrepreneurship, Sumari Spis. <laughs> Melissa Stevens. Dion Stain. Hermanus Stain. Natasha Stain. Norel Stock. Deshni Subia. Sumaya Serti. Sean Sutherland. Byron Swanton. Daniel Tehran. Tumelo Totela. Sean Fertil. Romy Townsend. Johannes van Heerden. Johannes van Niekerk. Rian van Weyck. J.D. Fisser. Miles Waldeck. You go around. Taryn Ward. Salusiwe Bandisiwe Yekela. Ziposichle Zajiji. You 
Gilbert Sitzmann. Susile Sekalala. Christabel Ziambi. Zueli Zulu. Mankoba Zungu. Nom fundo ntombi yombuso ursula ngobo mtembu. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have complied with the requirements for the postgraduate diploma in business administration. Romozzo Malindi. Thanks, Romozzo. Duran Kutsia. An award for the best student in entrepreneurship, Marcio Debru. With an award for the best student in organizational behavior, Lisa Furi. Magdalene Furi. The postgraduate diploma in business administration with distinction and prizes for the best student in financial accounting, the best student in the course critical thinking, and the best student in marketing, Elisha Govender. Well Lutando Jama. Renita Kohid. Joshua Lee. Colofelo Letuaba. Ryan London. Talani Mabunda. Tabile Mahlangu. Euphodia Mahungu. Palesa Mantutle. Silindile Magnoni. Rosina Masuku. Tumiso Matebula. Tebojo Matsitze. With an award for the best student in marketing, Citrello Nlochwa. Coquetso Mocuatlo. Tebojo Molepo. Micha Motene. Tabiso Moyane. Oh, wow. 
Benghazi Nzirai. With an award for the best student in operations management, Michael O'Shea. Lyle Pulsa. Mielani Pinini. Sakane Khadebe. Nosimilo Ramela. Mulalo Rasalanavo. The prize for the best student in ethics and sustainability, Jasper Rousseau. Putti Sequele. With an award for the best student in operations management, Vyasha Singh. Paulina Tefu. Notando Tonjeni. Lalamani Chertla Nolo Sotezzi Machlori Suta Post, the Postgraduate Diploma with Distinction and an Award for the Best Student in Integrating Structures and Processes, Ryan van Rooyen, apologize, and an Award for the Best Student in Human Resources Strategy. The PG to Business Administration with Distinction and Awards for the Best Student in Macroeconomics and the Best Student in Management Accounting, Victoria Waller. Ntabiseng Wito. Gugu Zungu. It's a long story, Mr. Chancellor. I'll explain it later. Sahanshil <laughs> Ramdani. Vice <laughs> Chan uh, Chancellor, that concludes uh, the students presented for graduations. But I would now like to ask you if I could please introduce the candidates receiving the top awards. I'll be introducing the following awards, and I need to find them in a moment, but let me read the awards. The Gibbs top candidate for the postgraduate diploma in business administration, the top candidate for the master of business administration, and the top candidate for the best modular part-time integrative business research project. I ask for indulgence, because I've been assured they're buried underneath my podium. Mr. Chancellor, the award for the top student on the postgraduate diploma in business administration goes to Elisha Govender. I think you did this.
The award for the top student on the Master of Business Administration goes to Keshav Sahadev. And the award for the top students on the modular part-time integrative business research project, Shandon Bezodenhurt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's raining outside. But we have come to the end of uh, our program. Uh, may I request um, the parents and the people sitting out there for a big round of applause for our graduates. Now I request the graduates for a big round of applause for their friends, relatives, parents out there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of our proceedings. Before we close, I wish to invite all present for refreshments afterwards in the marquee situated in front of this hall. You are now requested to stand for the singing of the national anthem to remain standing until the assembly has been dissolved and the academic procession has left the auditorium. Please stand. I hereby dissolve the, this assembly of the University of Pretoria. Thank you. Go beyond.